Welcome back to part two of this week's episode of Leading Our Own Way, featuring our special guests. Now let's dive right back into the conversation and continue exploring their incredible journey. You know, we've opened up, we've opened up this vortex and really, yeah, everything is, is energy. So I, the way it comes through for me is I start off by, we do the activation and then I'll tune in and I'll see what comes through. And what will happen is I might get visions. I might get random of random objects, words. I might do something with my body. I might feel something in my energy field. And like dominoes, like dominoes like laid up, you've got to press, you've got to push the first one so it can hit the next one and the next one, next one. But then if you like miss one, it doesn't hit the other one. So it stops all the rest of the dominoes. Form. I had kids playing with dominoes today, just so you know. Okay, see, mm. there we, this is what I'm this <laughs> at is school. What, yeah, this is what I'm saying is like it comes, it can come through. And I'll give another example soon. But basically, with the domino thing, is I'm trying to get a full picture and I'm trying to build the vision and I'm trying to go deeper into the vision. So I'll start saying the symbols. I'll start saying whatever I see, and you just take it in. And then we'll kind of like debrief it yeah. because I'm going to close my eyes and really connect into it. And so we, we debrief, debrief it. And then we come back and then we start setting intentions. So we set intentions. So the power of intentions, let me tell you about intentions. When you set intentions, you are connecting to and opening up your crown chakra, which is connected to the ethereal field, which is the spiritual field, basically where, um, what it's, you're broadcasting what you want. And so that the energy can move and and bring bring that in. So every day you should like, if you want to create the most magical life, set intentions. And so then we set the intention for it might be for career, it might be for relationships, it might be for something, it might be for um your house. Like, and then I see what comes through. So let me give you an example. So I went to my friend, um, was going to a speed dating event. She's like, will you come with me? I don't want to go on my own. So I was like, okay, like, why not? Like, I'm always down for an adventure. And I was like, I'm going to do a psychic reading on one of the people there. <laughs> like, I'm not there to go and date. I'm not interested in doing that at a speed dating event. I'm going to go and do psychic readings. <laughs> like, I want, to, <laughs> I want to train. I want to keep building the muscle. And I kept seeing, like, like the word king. Okay. So I was like, I just, I was driving and there was this sign that said King. And I'm like, why am I really focusing on this right now? And then another thing came up, another sign came up on the way there and it said King. I'm like, I'm really focusing on the word King. I don't know why. So once we got there, we sit down with these two guys and they're trying to chat. And I'm just like, can I do a psychic reading? Like, <laughs> I've just like opened up my psychic abilities. Like, can we just get into it? He was just like, he was a big, big skeptic. And I went and sat across from him. And so I like was connecting into his energy. Um, and there was a lot of people there, right? A full room. People are chatting and stuff. And so there's so much going on. And I'm trying to like really connect in with this person, with the energy. And I'm like, can I just put my hand on your knee so I can connect in? This He's like, it's yeah. going really well. I know. He was loving it. <laughs> And so I put my hand on his knee and then he's like, all right, describe my house like for me. Like, and so I was like, okay, I set the intention to describe your house. And so I started getting images of this big door, this big square door with this big handle, this pebble um, pathway, all of these trees around. And I was like, and for some reason, like King, like I've just been thinking about the word King all day today. So once I came out of it and I called my energy back, he was just like, showed me a picture of his home. He had all trees like um, around his home. He had the big door. The only thing was the door was, I said the door, the picture was like gray, like black and white. And so I was like, the door looks gray, but then the door was red. So that was the one thing that I missed. Um, and he had the pebble pathway and he lived, lived on King Street. So the... Symbols come, can come in dreams. They can come in the day. And you've got to like, you, this is where, why 
I'm off alcohol. I'm doing, I'm eating so clean, really healthy, doing my meditation because I feel I've been given this gift and I want to keep a clean vessel so that I can stay aware and in tune with what's happening in my vortex, in my world, so I can pass on messages. So my friend the other night, I just had a dream. I was just like of her and her husband talking about babies. And I messaged her. This was just the other day. I was like, okay, I had a dream about you and Chris were talking about babies. And she's like, Renee, this morning I was thinking about a baby. (laughs) And I dreamt it the night before. And I'm just like, this is so um, interesting. And then one of my friends, she connected in with me and she's just like, oh, like something's coming up. Like, can you tune into my energy? And so I tuned into her energy. I set the intention and I got this. I was like, okay, I'm getting a tickle around my throat. And she's like, I have a lump in my throat. And um, so, yeah, it was interesting. But what's, and so even sitting here and sitting in the space before coming in, I did have three things come up, like come in. And I want to say too, is in this process, I'm learning what is symbolic, what it means to me. Because if I get an image, the image might not mean anything to you. Mm. It could be up to me to interpret it. And so that's yeah. what I'm learning to navigate. And so at the moment, I'm just saying whatever comes up and then we try and interpret it together. So I believe I'll get to a point where I'll be able to be like, yep, yeah, I can tell you everything. And now it's just I'm in the training and I'm working through the self-doubt and, and constantly yeah. just trusting it. Like I forgot so much evidence. Well, based off Jean and Pam, you should not have any self doubt. I don't have any doubt in you. Um, well, just like your friend, then uh, I, I I know we're going to get into it in a second. Um, but just as a bit of a warm up, I don't know a taste. I don't know if we're wrong, and maybe you have to do something in a bit more depth. So I might be throwing you in the deep end. But if I was to ask you right now, let's just go single. Just what anything I look. We have each other on social media since. Uh, I, do I have you on Facebook? I can't remember. But even if even if I do have you on Facebook, I don't I post everything leading our own way, even on my personal people must be sick of it. But um, and then just achievements of like my son making on the basketball team and stuff like that. So anyone who's friends with me will see that I don't post anything outside of pictures of my children and uh, leading our own way to promote it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I've just given it to you there. But is there anything on like is there anything to do with my body that you could just say right now? Tune into your energy. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Let's. What I want to do is let's do a little bit of that activation so I can connect in to your energy. All right. So, okay, then. So, then before you do this, then let's make this very, very clear for people who might be skeptical or just tuning in or whatever. Um, I've never said anything personal about my life to Renee, have I? I've never said a thing about my family other than what you've just heard children i've said children and a partner and whatnot i've never said any names and um there's nothing on social media uh, that i post and anyone who does have me on there can certainly vouch for that apart from leading our own way and pictures of achievements of the children at the park or going on the basketball court and achieve and making onto a big team which my son's just made state rep team here in um, the area that i would live in um I don't know if there's anything else I need to say to make it very clear before we get going, to be fair. Mm-hmm. But I just mm-hmm. wanted to make that very clear to anyone that's tuning in. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, yeah. it's on the episode of last time and then the Jean and Pam from the pre-chat, the chat before. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I, think that, I think that's it. And honestly, we're going to have fun with it. We're going to cool. interpret some symbols. I'm going to see what yeah. comes in. And I just need to build, build a picture and see. So without further ado, are you ready? <laughs> and, and also a side note, my friends know what I'll be thinking in regards to people coming through to me that are personal to me. Mm-hmm. My friends know who that those people would be, just yeah. so you know. But yeah, yeah. you don't know that other than that. Okay. <laughs> and so we did talk about la- last week, whether we can call in your grandma. So... Yeah, what, sorry. Oh, so I told you, I, I did tell you about my grandma. Okay. Yes. I, I don't remember saying that, but okay, there you go. I'm glad, I'm glad you said that then. Don't think I know her name though. I can't remember the name of what you said. I know your mom's name was Carol. Good memory. I did That's say that. Carol. Yeah. My mum is Carol. Yeah. Carol, Jean and Pam that. were her best friends of all time. Yeah. Yep. I remember that. And then like the image that I got was a man, which didn't fit the brief, but 
there was sadness around the man, which was relative to her dad, holding sadness around her yes. dad. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. okay. So we're going to have fun with it. We're going to connect in. I'm going to, once we do the activation, I want to go through and just talk about some of the symbols that I got even before coming in. And so and I can, can I, if it comes through, can I say something about those symbols? If, yes. if it's, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you can, um, we can interpret it, break it down. And so that way I'll be able to see whether it was your energy that I was picking up on or some, something else. And then I can kind of like clear the screen and clear that, clear that out. Okay. But basically it's just what I do is I'm just trusting whatever like comes up. Like even one time my friend, when I started it, I saw a rubber duck. I'm like, why am I seeing a rubber duck? I'm like, okay, I'm seeing a rubber duck. And she's just like, my client's daughter showed me a video of a rubber duck this morning. So I was like, okay, just got to go with it. <laughs> do it, do it. Let's I go. I haven't, okay. done, I haven't done this specifically over the um, Zoom, but I I would love to do this in person too. So we'll see. Yeah, no, I'd love to meet you. Jesus. <laughs> Stick around for part three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. And now also if anyone's listening to this, uh, you can close your eyes. If you're driving, don't, obviously. Um, mm -hmm. We can go through this activation as well because it's very powerful and you're going to feel really good and even you said you've been stressed out today so this even this will be really good for you okay, okay. all right let's we'll just take a deep inhale through your nose and then out through your mouth and just shake out your body get comfortable Inhale through your nose. Hold it at the top. And exhale through the mouth. So I want you to imagine your root chakra. You know the root chakra, the red one? What, sorry? The root chakra. You know the chakras? Oh. You know the chakras? <laughs> okay. One second. This will be this will be important. Anyone watching this that knows it or doesn't, so that you can visualize this. Now your chakras are like your energy um, system, and these are so powerful in terms of like blockages that might be in the body. Like a book I was reading by Belinda Davidson. It's called Find Your Light. She talks a lot about the chakras. So what I'm doing every day is I'm starting to go through this chakra cleansing and turning on the chakras. And she, as a psychic, can actually see what's happening in people's chakras. So I'd love to get to a point to do that. But she could look at you right now and she would be like, oh, okay, what's going on there with your throat, as an example. Mm. And she would see some things. Okay. So here, what you'll see is this is your your chakras at the bottom we've got your root chakra we've got just below the navel is your sacral just above the navel is your solar plexus and you've got your heart chakra you've got your throat chakra at your throat your third eye at your forehead and then your crown chakra is just above it's just above your head here and You've got your star chakras that go above that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to open up, open them up. And by you focusing on it, because you're where you are, it's going to be able to give me a good read. Okay. okay? So I, you, yeah, I would definitely have not known that. I'm glad you clarified that. <laughs> isn't it amazing? You can always learn, you can learn something new every single day. And it's yeah. crazy like when you're in your field and like, you just think it's com like common sense because I'm around it all the time, but then it's just like yeah. so many people don't know. I like, was going to ask you that. I was like, what makes you think I know that? <laughs> I, yeah, I know. It's the thing. I'm just like, I need to change this mindset that I'm holding on to a golden ticket. And I, need I to felt share. silly there for a second the way you looked at it. I was like, you should know that, Andy. I'm like, oh, I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're like I was like, do you know what the root chakra is? <laughs> it's like, I felt like a six year old. I was like, oh, I should know this. Okay, <laughs> okay. live to millions of people, <laughs> and I should know what a chakra is. <laughs> oh okay. You're gonna have to get a chakra book up there on that bookshelf. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, close Let's your do eyes. It. 
Deep inhale. Exhale. Now, I want you to visualize the root chakra. I want you to visualize the color red. And I want you to imagine like a beam of light going in from the front, out from the back. Can you see it? Yeah. Doesn't look pretty. <laughs> now I want you to go up to your sacral, just below the navel. And I want you mm. to visualize the color orange and see this orange beam of light coming from the front out to the back. And then I want you to go up to your solar plexus, which is the yellow. Just above your navel and your stomach, and seeing that yellow light going in from the front and out the back. I want you to now bring your focus up to your heart chakra, your heart, and see the color green. And see a green beam of light going through the front out through the back. Now I want you to go up to your throat, to your throat chakra, and seeing a light blue beam of light through your throat at the back. <clears throat> now going up to your third eye chakra, Seeing like an indigo, deep bluey purple color. See that light go through your third eye, through your forehead, and out the back. And then bringing your awareness up to your crown chakra just above your head. Seeing it as like a purpley pink color. Going through front to the back. Now setting the intention to take your awareness up above your head and imagining a golden beam of light coming down from the sky. Mm -hmm. Around your head, see that golden light going down through your body, all the way down. This warm <clears throat> golden light going down through your legs and down. Imagine you're going down into the earth. Rounding into the earth. Okay. I'm setting the intention to connect to your crown. Now I'm starting to get information. And I'm just going to say, oh, it's coming through. And I'm going to start, it's wanting me to start on what I've already written down. So I'm getting like, firstly, I'm getting like real kind of shakes in my body. Like, like the sense to want to shake, but you can't, if that makes sense. It's like you want to like shake, like there's just this kind of energy that's just like fizzled up around the left side. Um, now, what I'm seeing is like, it looks like it's you younger, like a young version of you and you're wearing some sort of costume, like a pirate costume. Join us tomorrow to hear more from today's incredible guests and learn valuable insights to help you 
lead your own way. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you then.